Welcome, everyone. Today we're exploring a critical role in modern network infrastructure, the Telecom Release Manager. If you've ever wondered who orchestrates all those moving pieces when an organization upgrades or deploys complex network technologies, you're in for a treat. Over the next few minutes, we'll dig into what a Telecom Release Manager does, the essential skills you'll need, and the impact this job can have on an entire company. Modern networks are incredibly sophisticated. Think data centers, wireless infrastructures, WAN connections, and an alphabet soup of emerging technologies like SD-WAN and virtualized services. The role of the telecom release manager is to ensure each phase of these multifaceted projects lines up perfectly. From scheduling communications and tracking dependencies to working alongside engineers and project managers, they'd act like a conductor in an orchestra of network rollouts. What sets a telecom release manager apart is the focus on release and change calendars. They make sure each piece of the puzzle, whether it's a data center expansion or a branch office deployment, integrates smoothly into ongoing business operations. We're talking about balancing time, scope, and cost, but also ensuring minimal disruption to end users. The stakes are high because a poorly timed or poorly executed network change can cripple critical systems and tarnish a company's reputation. A telecom release manager typically wears many hats. Coordinating cross-functional projects. They bridge the gap between engineering operations and various service providers, ensuring tasks move in sync. Gathering and defining requirements. Before a big rollout, they clarify exactly what's needed, hardware, software, timelines, and resource allocations. Managing communications and updates. Constant updates, both upward to senior leaders and laterally to project teams, to keep everyone on the same page. Escalation and issue resolution. When problems arise, like missing parts or conflicting schedules, the telecom release manager steps in to fix them quickly or escalates them appropriately. Release and change calendar oversight. This might be the heart of the role, aligning multi-phase work with official release windows and ensuring compliance with organizational change processes. And remember, this position also requires a solid understanding of the organization's overall change management policies because messing up a release can have major operational and financial impacts. The networks you'll be dealing with as a telecom release manager are expansive and include data centers slash DMZ, handling the secure demilitarized zone for critical services, B2B and WAN services, managing external partner connections and wide area networks, branch slash financial center networks, overseeing connectivity for corporate offices, branches, wealth management sites, and more. Wireless LAN and structured cabling, supervising site surveys, cable pathways, and emerging wireless standards, transport and optical systems, working with technologies like LTE, switch Ethernet, SD-WAN, or private circuits, voice and collaboration tools, possibly interacting with VoIP, UC services, or video conferencing solutions. You don't have to be an absolute expert in each domain, but a better than general understanding of these technologies is essential. You're overseeing engineering support, solutions design, and practical rollouts, so conceptual knowledge can save you a lot of headaches. Because telecom networks often lie at the heart of business operations, the telecom release manager's decisions can affect entire customer experiences. A glitchy branch network might upset clients, while an out-of-date optical transport solution can cause costly outages. So, part of your responsibility is to stay laser-focused on value delivery, asking, how does this rollout or upgrade benefit the organization? Are we balancing risk versus reward effectively? You're effectively a guardian of the company's reputation. Timely professional rollouts reflect well on everyone. Messy or delayed releases can tarnish client trust and internal morale. The telecom release manager works hand in hand with network engineers and architects, gathering technical specs, sorting out dependencies, and ensuring feasible timelines. Project and program managers aligning tasks and deliverables with larger enterprise initiatives. Service delivery teams, confirming readiness on operational handover once a release is complete. Vendors and third-party providers, negotiating schedules, hardware shipments, and installation tasks. One crucial aspect is anticipating conflicts between concurrent projects. If two major changes are scheduled for the same window, you might have to shuffle timelines or arrange phase rollouts to avoid overload on engineering staff or unforeseen outages. The key here is clear communication. Everyone, from the field technician to senior leadership, should know what's happening, when, and why. Surprises are rarely a good thing in large-scale network changes. So, what makes a stellar telecom release manager? 
1. Strong Project Slash Program Management Skills Knowing how to craft and manage timelines, scope, and budgets. 2. Technical Acumen Understanding networking lingo like VLANs, MPLS, or STWAN helps you translate business requirements into engineering tasks. 3. Leadership and ownership. You're accountable for end-to-end -end delivery, so having initiative and the ability to delegate or escalate is vital. 4. Communication and negotiation. You'll often juggle different time zones, vendors, or even third-party integrators. 5. Adherence to firm-wide standards. Following change management protocols, compliance rules, and relevant frameworks like PMP or IDLE helps keep everything on track. Certifications like PMP or IDLE can boost your credibility. A background in finance or large enterprise networking is also a big plus, especially if you're dealing with strict regulatory environments. Since we're talking about release management, you'll also become intimately familiar with change management board's cabin processes. Each requested change likely needs thorough documentation. Then there's scope and risk, understanding what system, what potential impact, and how you plan to mitigate issues. Timing and dependencies, other blackout periods or peak transaction times to avoid, review and approval. The CAD might challenge scheduling or risk assessments, so be ready to defend your plan. Maintaining 100% compliance with change policies is non-negotiable. Even small errors, like forgetting to note a fallback procedure, can spiral into major incidents if something goes wrong. The best telecom release managers are detail-oriented and flexible, but also firm about what the process requires. What pitfalls might you face? Shifting deadlines, one vendor might face a parts delay, or an internal team might have competing priorities. Complex dependencies. Some tasks can't start until others finish. If one piece slips, it can cause a domino effect. Resource constraints. Skilled engineers could be spread thin across multiple projects. Conflict resolution, bridging the gap between engineering's technical needs and senior management's strategic goals, often demands tactful negotiation. Overcoming these obstacles is where you prove your value. It's about risk anticipation, creative scheduling, and the ability to pivot quickly when unexpected curveballs come your way. That's our in-depth look at the telecom release manager role, why it matters, what you'll do day to day, and how you'll ensure network deployments go smoothly. If you enjoy juggling complex schedules, relish the challenge of coordinating cross-functional teams, and have enough tech know-how to speak the language of network engineers, this could be an incredibly fulfilling career path. Remember, it's not just about ticking boxes. It's about delivering real value, on time, within budget, and without unnecessary disruption. If you found this overview helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing for more deep dives into critical tech roles. Until next time, stay organized, stay proactive, and keep those network rollouts running smoothly.